What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and we're looking at the Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector and we're going to look at the action which is Export Email V2. So this action allows you to get the content of an email and export that email for use elsewhere. So let's take a look at today. So I'm in Power Automate here, I have a trigger step which is another Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector, previously known as the Office 365 Outlook Connector. And we've just got a simple trigger that is when a new email arrives, V3. So when it hits my inbox, we're going to do something. Then we are going to click on next step and go to the Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector. And then we can scroll down until we find export email V2. Let's choose this and it asks me for two things. It asks me for the message ID and the original mailbox address. The message ID is required, the original mailbox address is not. So the message ID is the ID of the email that's arriving uh, or the email that's in the inbox. So we're going to add a piece of dynamic content in there and we'll choose the ID from that first step and we'll choose the message ID. So what it says is that basically when this email arrives, we're going to then do something with it. Um, the original mailbox address, that is if you have a shared mailbox. So if I click this, you would see a list of shared mailboxes if I had a shared mailbox. This just mean, this just helps Power Automate look up the message ID in that inbox. Um, if not, if it's not going to look up in that shared mailbox, it's going to look for this message ID in your personal, like in your main inbox. So once we've got those two things, this is going to export the email. Now it says export email, but what does it actually mean? So it's not going to like save it to your desktop or do something else. What this does is this gets the content from that email and allows you to export it and put it somewhere else. So without any other steps, this doesn't really do anything. So if we click on new step, what we can do is we can search uh, OneDrive for Business, OneDrive for Business, and we can create a file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the picker here and we're going to select a folder. So I'll just say my Power Automate folder. It's a folder I use for testing um, when I'm using Power Automate. Uh, we're going to give it a name. So we could use something like, I don't know, um, the subject uh, subject of the of the message uh, dot msg, because we're going to convert this into a message as well. So we're trying to store it in OneDrive as a message. So we'll take the subject line uh, dot message, and that's going to be our, our name. The file content, again, if I open up the advanced, uh, the advanced um, editor here, we have body, we can, um, we can click on, uh, we can choose that from this list. So basically it's taking the, the content body of that message to export and do something with. So we're going to put that in here um, and then we're ready to go. So when an email arrives, we're going to export the content of that email. We're going to create a new file in our OneDrive for business um, and put the body of that content of that message into that um, into that new file that we're creating. So we'll test it. So I'll click on test. I'll perform the trigger action. We'll save and test. Then that is running. And what I do, I'm going to switch over to my Gmail account. Gmail account, I've got an email here that I'm sending uh, the matt.collins tech services group. That's the that's the email address in my test tenant. Um, this is an email to export. Hi, please export this email. It's important. Thanks, Matt. So now I hit send. So now I go across. I'm going to switch back. We're going to uh, wait for this to trigger. So if we go into our, our inbox here, our Outlook, uh, we can we can wait to see when this uh, email arrives. So it's just arrived from D365Geek. So it's arrived here. Then we can go back to the flow, which is now run successfully. So it's gone through. It's found the email. It's exported the the content of this body. So this is the body here. Um, so it's all it's all um, you know email messages and, and relays and and everything else, all that good stuff that you usually get from Outlook. Uh, and then we've gone and created the file in our. Um, in our OneDrive for Business, and we put that content in. So we go back to the uh, Power, go to OneDrive for Business, and we can search in here. This is an email to export. Uh, I don't think has it done that. No, it is not saved. Uh, I don't think the uh, the message uh, the message prefix at the end. So rename. 
add.msg. See if this works. If not, I'm just going to rerun the flow. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Hold on. I can fix this and fix this. Uh, what we'll just do is, yeah, it just didn't, it didn't save the uh, file extension, even though it was on there. So we'll just call this uh, new email.msg test and we'll just run with the previous action uh, from the previous run just to show you this does work because uh, I tried it earlier. Um, let's run successfully, new email message. We can see the icon now is a message and we can see this is now an email. So that's a bit of a, an unusual thing. Uh, it didn't seem to like um, the using the subject as that. So let's have another play around with that and figure out what, what's going on there. But essentially we can see this is an this is an email. We've got all the content of like the who's from, the, the sent on, the to, the subject, and we can see the content of the body as well. And we've created that in our um, in our OneDrive business. So it's a really useful thing, especially if you need to export emails either on mass or if it's related to a certain project and you need certain emails to be saved. Um, you could do things like um, put this in like a certain folder and then always export those emails to say your OneDrive if you need them for uh, prosperity sakes. Um, save you copying them all to your desktop and then moving them. You could just use Power Automate to move, run through them uh, and then push them all to OneDrive Business or SharePoint or somewhere else that you could like store files. So yeah, that's how this how this function works, how this action works. But what do you guys think? What do you use this um, what do you use this action for at the moment? What may you use this for in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.